Hey guys, it's me and Matt, and I'm back posting again, uh, um, just been caught up with a lot of work, so I haven't been posting lately, but enough of that, um, so today I have something special for you, it's my first Lego jet, yeah, and for those of you who are wondering how I'm hands free, it's because I've done this, one of my subscribers told me to make a tripod out of Legos, so I did that exactly, uh, it wasn't really hard, I just kind of put my camera on this little base plate and just kind of molded around it. Around it, did it, yeah, no, around it. Um, the jet I was going for was a SR-71 fi uh, Firebird, or Blackbird, I don't know, I will post a, I will put a link in the description to a picture of it, I'll find out though. Um, and it's the fastest jet in the world known to man today, we haven't made a faster jet, and that's exactly what I was going for. Um, it's not exactly like it due to the tail, which is much, much different from it. Uh, the engines are kind of similar, and the cockpit is elongated, so it looks like that elongated, narrow, fast feeling. Um, there's really not much. Uh, actually, there is a lot on the outside. Uh, as you can see, each wing has its own rather large engine. And, uh, the tail, uh, I kind of just was goofing off, and I found these ramps, and I kind of just thought, hey, why not just make a really cool tail? So I did. And it's just, uh, elongated, narrow tail, I would say. Um, also, the cockpit has room for two people. Each cockpit can open up. Although, I haven't fixed this can get. You kind of have to hold the back like this, and then open the front up, or else, you know... This cockpit will come off the fact that it's only being held down with this little hinge. So, uh, it can hold two people. The front cockpit has some radars and gauges, gauges or levers, whatever. And the back cockpit just has some levers, you know. I didn't really have that much left over due to the fact that I, uh, made a spaceship. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, then I will post a link somewhere there hopefully and um yeah this is just a small design because if this small two by two wasn't being held on then these pegs would be just showing that just looked weird so yeah um enough of that this can be taken apart like this see the cockpit can be taken out see i told you if you don't hold this down this cockpit will come out because it's only being held down Oops, just kind of launched at you. Uh, it's only being held down with this little hinge. Anyway, uh, the wings. The wings are being held down with these small two by ones, one by twos, I don't know. And they're smooth. Uh, the engines were not difficult, but not easy to make, I want to say. Uh, I went through a couple trials and errors before I actually got them. And as you can see, I are, or if you can't see, I'm taking these apart because it's just easier and it's a lot of weight to support on the plane so I don't want this falling apart in the middle of the video um on the bottom of the wing you can see yeah, on the bottom of the wing you can see we have a wheel that is also supported by a second wheel on this wing and on the tail there's this which each part of the plane has its own wheel so that it can be supported on the runway see this has a wheel and this has a wheel, and these two have wheels. Uh, the cockpit. Now, I'm gonna take the window off to just to show you more detail. Uh, it kinda looks like a space shuttle, a small space shuttle, but it's not what I'm going for. Uh, come on, focus. Come on, focus. All right, good enough. Uh, on the inside of the cockpit, you can see we have a pilot, and I used the Star Wars pilot only because I don't really have that many other astronaut pilots. Um, and you need to wear an uh, astronaut suit, or not an astronaut suit, you need to wear a space suit when you're going in this plane because if pressure leaks out of the plane, then you will automatically be dead if you're not wearing that. So that's why they have to wear it. Um, but yeah, there's only a couple gotchas and radars and fuel tanks and stuff like that. In the back, there's just two levers and a, another guy 
I guess. And, you know, once again, not that many space people, so I just kind of improvise, use this guy. Uh, and as for the tail, um, this piece was supposed to be on a wing. It goes to a wing to hold it all together, because this is the tail and the body are really just what hold the wings together, because without the tail or without the body, then this, it would just kind of fall apart. Uh, but yeah. I used a lot of slanted ramps. I used eight slanted ramps for the. Oh no, no, no! I used two, four by two slanted ramps for the front. If you can't see that, I'll just. You can see there's one crack, and then four, one, two, three, four, for the top black slanted ramps, and another four for the back. And I just kind of put two smooth pieces on there, and these two smooth pieces on there to hold it all together. Um, the this wheel really just was held together with these two two by sixes, and uh, yeah. So let me just put this back together quickly, and uh, when I do, I will come back to you. Okay guys, so I'm back and I put everything back together and uh, yeah, it's a nice jet. I like it and um, if you guys liked it, leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.